Today, guys, I'm gonna be showing you how you can speed up the speed of your VPN. So as I get into this, smash the like button, subscribe for more, and let's get started. Okay, guys, I'm gonna show you how you can essentially speed up your VPN. This is a little bit of an interesting one because many people experience like half the speed, if not maybe even, you know, dramatic amounts of decrease, like 70 to 80% decrease in speed when they are using their VPN. So I'm just doing a quick speed test. This is our benchmark. This is no VPN active. Uh, at the point of recording, right? So this is basically just no VPN, just clean internet. Um, and I'm gonna kind of show you what they look like, you know, what the speed looks like when you actually activate a VPN, okay, by default. So let's just say you've downloaded a standard VPN, right? Whether that is, you know, um, Surfshark or NordVPN or whatever. I'm gonna start things off here with IP Vanish, right? This is uh, probably the newest one that I've tested. It seems actually so far to be probably the best one. Um, but let's go ahead and just connect to, um, to a VPN here. I'm just gonna choose the closest ones so we don't have kind of distance to cover for the testing purposes and um, obviously depending on how far the uh the vpn's have in travel then obviously that's going to you know change the results somewhat but we're just connected to my local here and then i'm going to run a speed test so at the moment we know that it's 328 up and 318 down, which is actually a lot lower than I'm paying for. I'm paying for 800 um, in both directions, yet I'm not getting that. So we're gonna probably argue that that's the weekend for you. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and run a test, right? So 318, you know, 300, let's say, is to, to kind of be. Now, as you can see, just running the VPN out of the box, we're about 50%, right? We're about, what, 160? Yeah, 150, 160, it's dropping quite a bit. So we already know that we're losing a significant amount of our speed, you know, just by turning the VPN on and it's even local, right? So that tells us that the settings might not be optimized. Okay, and we can see here that we're getting pretty equal upload and download speed, which is great because in my UK home, um, my upload speed is uh, is like 20 or something like that. And my download speed is like 50. It's ridiculously slow, right? Um, without VPN. But here in Dubai, I'm paying for 800 up and I'm paying for 800 down. But the second that I turn a VPN on, I end up with these kind of results. So, you know, it's not the best, but we can go into the settings here. So let's get disconnect for a second, okay, and head over to the settings area. Under here, you've got application connection protocol, network security, and split tunneling, right? We're just gonna mess around with these settings right here, specifically the active protocol. Now, there's lots of different options here, and you can see that this is actually on the open VPN by default. But if we go ahead and we change this to wire guard, this says it's the most secure and the fastest VPN protocol. That sounds exactly like what we want but it's not on by default which is just mind-boggling right so we're going to go ahead and we're going to turn that on and then we're going to go ahead and connect back to our Dubai VPN location and we're going to run a test right we had 300 without a VPN on we have 127 uh, megabits download with the VPN on standard settings let's go ahead and run the test now with the wire guard on okay and we'll see if we can get close to what we're actually paying for okay now straight off the box we can see that we're pushing about 220, 230, 240, no, 230. Okay, we're hovering around the two, 220 to 230 area, right about there. So we can see that we've practically doubled our speed from just one setting on the VPN. Now, our upload speed is being a little bit more hindered here but than the download. So that can have a bit of an impact. We'll probably run the test a few times to see if we can anchor this out or iron this out. But from just one singular change within our VPN, we've already doubled our download speed. And it's pretty close to kind of what I'm getting without a VPN on at all, right? So we can probably tweak some more settings if we needed to. Um, and, you know, have a look at a few different things. Because some people say that if you multi-hop, you can also end up with a better connection anyway. Now, I've got other VPNs here, so let's go ahead and over here to NordVPN as well. Now, with NordVPN, if we go over to our settings, uh, we go over to connection. Here you can see it's just on auto. So if I go ahead and uh, basically connect to, let's say, just um, Dubai, let's see if I can find a Dubai location here. 
Okay, if we just connect to Dubai like so, and then we go over and we run a test. Now we've done no different settings here, right? And this one out of the box is performing pretty decent as well. This is with automatic uh, protocol selected, whereas IP Vanish has OpenVPN or kind of, um, what did they call it? They called it uh, WireGuard, right? But it does have this auto protocol as well. Um, so auto protocol for NordVPN works really quite well and we're getting a good upload speed as well. Um, for the Dubai, it's actually pushing more on the upload than it is on the download. So that's good to see. So if you're kind of using NordVPN, the setting to go for then does appear to be that you want your connection to be on auto, not on, you know, open VPN. But let's go ahead and uh, what we'll do is we will disconnect from here for a second and we'll see if we can push this a little bit higher by changing this to Nord Whisper. If we do that, come back to here and then try to connect to the Dubai via that protocol, we will see if that pushes any additional speed through the VPN. It seems a little bit slower to start with. Um, so it's probably not the best start, but we'll give it a go nonetheless knowing that we're pushing out, you know, a good 250 just short. Um, this one's also pushing very similar numbers on, uh, let's see, it's dropping quite rapidly here. I reckon we'll probably end up with a fair amount of volatility with the VPN on that particular setting. So when it comes to NordVPN, probably gonna want to select the auto process rather than uh, anything else. With um, IP Vanish, it appears to be WireGuard that is the best, um, but we'll just wait for this to finish if it wants to. Doesn't look promising at this stage. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and we'll turn off the VPN here for Nord. Now, when it comes to the settings on Surfshark, uh, if we head over to settings here, um, on this one, I would probably be looking at protocol being auto or WireGuard again, which is very similar to the IP Vanish. So all in all, after testing several of these, I think the IP Vanish, we want that one to be on the WireGuard. And if we are using uh, Nord VPN, then we're gonna want to put that onto auto uh, to get the best results. Let's just once again, try wire guard here see if uh, that is going to give us any different results than what we had previously we just wait for that to connect and just give this a quick refresh here um, because wire guard should be the fastest and most secure on the um, IP vanish side we're looking for 250 uh, 250 or more is kind of where we're looking it doesn't look like it's gonna push that much so Nord VPN looks to be the best one uh, in terms of making sure that that is selected to auto um, rather than anything else and if you're using IP Vanish, it would appear that we want to be using the protocol that is uh, WireGuard. I am going to actually test this on Auto as well to see if that delivers any better results. So I'm just going to test that out as well, um, because it might just be that actually selecting the automatic protocol might be the best thing to do. So let's disconnect that for a second there. We're going to connect Auto, and then we're going to try again via the automatic protocol. The idea here is to find what's going to give us the least amount of volatility but also deliver the best results. So let's go ahead and test this one out as well with um, IP Vanish. Um, so IP Vanish here is uh, still seeing a fair amount of volatility on that one as well. It could just be that maybe NordVPN, although it is something that is so popular, maybe it's popular for a reason. Um, I'm going to also run a test back to back on the NordVPN as well um, because I do want to make sure it isn't just a fluke. Uh, so we've done a couple of different tests here with IP Vanish. I currently haven't got a subscription with Surfshark so I can't test that one right now. Um, but we can of course test out um, the NordVPN. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, IP Vanish, it's disconnecting. So yeah, it seems to be struggling actually with staying connected via the automatic protocol. That seems to be what's causing the volatility there. Um, interesting, it could be that my internet connection is having a bit of a a bit of a time. So let's go ahead and uh, check this one more time. I'm just going to go to settings here. We're going to check the VPN. This is on Nord Whisper. We're going to put that to automatic. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to connect to Dubai via the automatic protocol.
critical here. It could be that my internet connection on the weekend is causing some volatility. Um, it's not getting the best results. As I say, I'm paying for 800, but I'm only getting a fraction of that at the moment. Um, so let's go ahead. Now we've connected there. Let's give this a refresh and see if those numbers that we were pushing before uh, remain, right? It was 250. Uh, that's kind of the benchmark on the uh, NordVPN. And there you go, right? We're still pushing 250 megabits per second on Nord on the auto setting, although we are experiencing a lot of volatility. So we're pushing those higher numbers, but it's dropping back quite aggressively here and to pretty much those same kind of areas where we had the default settings um, being set selected. So I'm going to assume that my internet connection is also struggling quite a bit, but from what all of the tests that I can see that I've been performing is that if we are using IP Vanish, that WireGuard seems to be the best one. It delivers the best results. Um, if we're using uh, NordVPN, then we want that to be on the automatic side and from what I could see with Surfshark as well the settings there are allowing for WireGuard so I would probably be looking at WireGuard using that one as well. And guys there you have it that is how essentially you can boost the speed of your VPN whether that is IP Vanish whether that's uh, NordVPN or even Surfshark you can let me know how you guys get on in the comments down below so hit that like button subscribe for more hints and tips and I'll catch you all in the next one.